welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to tell you the story about Mean Billy Joe Jill, teaching the truth about respect. Out in the schoolyard, in a corner on a hill, stood the king of the playground, Billy Joe Jill. Each day he would holler in the soft morning dew. A shout to make other kids shrink in their shoes. I'm the biggest. I'm the best. I'm tougher than all the rest. I'm king of the hill. I'm Billy Joe Jill. Over and over during recess and lunch, Billy looked through the playground for someone to punch. He pushed and he choked. He'd steal baseball gloves. He'd taunt and he'd tease till kids backed on their knees. Oh, Billy, please stop! The crying children said, but Billy just laughed, then bumped him on the head. You're looking at me, kid. He'd say with a sneer. The children would tremble and step back in fear. But when no one was watching, Billy would sigh. It's lonely being me. The bully would cry. But before very long, he'd be looking for trouble. He'd pull a girl's hair, pop another kid's bubble. One Tuesday, Billy Joe felt particularly mean, so he grabbed a small kid and started his routine. I'm the biggest. I'm the best. I'm tougher than all the rest. I'm king of the hill. I'm Billy Joe Jill. But that day, in the schoolyard, in a corner on the sand, a third grader named Snittle finally took a stand. Billy, you're a bully," said small Edward Snittle, and though he looked brave. Edward shook just a little. Why do you punch us and throw us to the ground? How would you feel if we bossed you around? The crowd of kids clapped, and one said, "Hooray!" But Billy just chuckled and went on his way. I'd be careful, Edward Snittle. Billy said, going past. You'd better watch out, and you'd better run fast. The rest of the week, Billy Joe was unbearable. He tormented poor Edward and made his life terrible. He'd prod and he'd poke. He made Edward a joke. He'd harass and he'd hit, till kids begged him to quit. Oh, poor Edward Snittle! Billy said with a pout. Did I hurt your feelings? I said to watch out. Then he turned to the counter where the science project sat. He picked up Edward's rocket and gave it a pat. You see this? Billy asked as he held the rocket high. You may as well kiss your science project goodbye. Lift off! Billy shouted as he raced around the room, tossed the rocket. In the air, and waited for a kaboom. It shattered. It splintered into a million pieces. But Billy just laughed and repeated his thesis. I'm the biggest. I'm the best. I'm tougher than all the rest. I'm king of the hill. I'm Billy Joe Jill. But while Billy was laughing and making a scene, he tripped and fell down on a cardboard machine. My computer! Hold Billy when he saw the destruction. The simple brown box had seen quite a reduction. It lay there as flat, as flat as could be, so smushed. And so smashed, there was little left to see. I worked hard, Billy 
whined. Now I understand why kids get so angry when I ruin their plans. I'm a bully. I'm a mess. I'm meaner than all the rest. I need help. I want help. Billy said with a yelp. I'll help you, Edward said, as he knelt beside Billy. Help me, Billy asked. Why would you? That's silly. I've been mean, rude, and crude, and socially unacceptable. I forgive you, Edward said, but Billy looked skeptical. Come on, said Edward. I know what to do. I've got lights, bells, and whistles. It will be just like new. Together they worked every day after school. A little by little, Billy learned a new rule: When you do unto others what you'd like done to you, life sure a lot nicer. The Bible is true. Soon, small Edward Snittle and Billy Joe Jill were friends on the playground and friends on the hill. The rocket and computer took second and third place, but it wasn't the ribbons that put smiles on each face. We may not be the biggest, we may not be the best, but we found what really mattered. For we're friends, and we are blessed. D N. So, how do you like this story? Please like and subscribe for more videos. Bye bye.